Hey team, welcome back to the Fantail Cricket Workshop here in Auckland, New Zealand. Today we have the question and the answer video and we'll also be going over our massive bat sale that we've got going on to basically just to say a massive thank you for helping us reach over 180,000 um, followers over our three social media platforms and helping us get this guy um, which is on display now in our shop. So I'll go over um, basically how to purchase a sale bat first and then we'll start off with the questions um, and I'll be going through a few bats that we've got on sale in the video. So to purchase a bat from our sale jump onto our website at fantailcricket.com click on the cricket bats drop down menu go into 20% off sale there you'll see around 50 bats quite a few have already sold um, but you'll be able to scroll through each bat is individually listed with pictures and the specifications given for each bat choose which one you want you can then go in through and choose these stickers as you can see um, all the bats don't have stickers on at the moment so you choose the sticker type the grip type any services that you want and then we'll place your order we'll get that sent out to you um, and then you can have a fan tail at 20% off so it's also a rare chance for you to get a fantail uh, custom bat in grades grades two and three because obviously we usually most of you know we only sell them in grade one in LE so you have the chance to grab them in the white and black stickers or the gold and black stickers so they currently look like this on the website you can choose your sticker option and the exact bat you want so let's get started with the questions so the first question do you find dowels reduce the performance the answer to that would be no we only use dowels to in repairs so if we're doing a repair in the toe um, the performance is already lacking because you've got a lot of damage um, and often the the toe is probably bent back maybe due to moisture um, or toe tapping it's to strengthen and increase your performance levels same with the shoulders if you've got cracks running through um, the shoulders of the bats we do it to strengthen the area up and make it last longer the only other area you might have seen the New Balance video where we've chucked about four dowels through here. The piece was already is detached, so you don't have the strength of hitting off the whole blade. So you often, if you've got um, delamination or something like that, if it sounds very tinny. After our repair, it would sound basically near near to new. We're only using dowels as um, a repair to strengthen up the area, so it's never going to. Um, be better than brand new but it's going to be the performance is going to be better than if you didn't have the repair done in the first place at Fanta we sell on exclusively direct to customers we like to control the whole process from the product being manufactured right through to you receiving it um, after it after you've placed your order through our website or in store and being delivered this saves you the customer a lot of money so you don't have retailers putting them their markup on top of ours um, so it's saving you a lot of money and we also don't sponsor um, we don't pay players um, to use our kit which is also saving you a lot of money as well so that's just the way we want to go about it um, and it's something that we have always wanted to do um, here at Fantau so the first bat I want to go over is bat number 6, you'll see the bat number in the title so if you want this bat, find bat 6 and it can be yours if you're quick enough. So we've got so bat 6, we have a mid to low profile um, but still nice and full um, through the profile as you can see there, about 2mm of concaving. 36mm edge, 65mm spine, semi oval handle and semi round toe which is standard for all of these bats and it weighs in at 2 pounds 9 ounces, it's an extremely well sized bat um, for its weight. So it is a grade 1 piece of willow and I'll just give it a quick ping test for you. There we go, so that's bat 6, very very strong, very high performing piece of willow, it's a grade 1, grab it now from fantailcricket.com. That would always be a goal down the line, at the moment we're really just trying to get everything set and ready for that, so we've got had a lot of growth over the last couple of years. Um, our home store here in Auckland, New Zealand is going really well, um, we've 
had a lot of work going on at the moment, which is why we've kind of not done as much content as was Ed would like. Um, but that's just finished off, and we're looking forward to a really big home season um, and the current kind of off season. Well, it's not really an off season as well. Our um, sales through to the states and Canada and the UK um, and India are going really, really well and really strong um, over the last six months. Um, so that's really positive and encouraging. Um, so yeah. The goal would always be down the line to open stores in in those areas, um, but not quite yet. You've seen a lot of videos in the past with repaired bats from overseas, so it's very, um, it is quite costly to send your bat overseas. Sometimes it's good to, if you've got a few friends that also need their bats repaired, join them together and the shipping will be a lot cheaper. But yeah, we, we repair numerous bats um, every week from, from overseas, so people are sending bats from Canada, the States, the UK, Australia, um, even India. So yeah, it's definitely possible. Before you um, send them, obviously, or place your order, make sure you get a quote um, from a shipping supplier um, in your country to get it shipped to us. We don't pay or organize you getting the bat to us, but we obviously organize returning the bat to you. So make sure you get a quote before placing your order or getting in touch. We definitely don't make a video on every bat that gets delivered, otherwise we would have only kind of done probably repaired 10 bats in our um, whole life of span of the business. So yeah, we definitely can't or don't make a video on it. It's just not possible for us to make a video on every bat. Um, it takes a lot of time to organize getting the video made and um, doing all the editing and everything like that. Um, so please don't ask when you're sitting your bat in to get, make, get a video made. Um, if it's possible that we have to think about it would be great to make it repair video on then we will um, but yeah it's very very unlikely that we'll be making a video on your bat if it gets sent in. We now have bat number eight it is a grade two piece of willow again mid to low sweet spot you've still got a lot of weight carries right through that profile it has got a only a couple of millimeters of concaving so it's a very nice sort of nice form profile um, we've got a 40 millimeter edge and a 67 millimeter spine it's only weighing in at two pounds, 8.5 ounces. So this one really, really won't last. So if you want it, remember bat eight, quick ping test. Very high performing, a lot of meat throughout that profile. Um, sounds great, picks up really, really well, even though you've got that mid to low. Um, grab that from fantailcricket.com. Um, so if you've got a facing, the only way to do that would be to take the facing off. If you see the fibers are standing up or a little bit furry, then the willow definitely needs a little bit of moisture, which would be either bat wax if you're not applying another facing or linseed oil if you're going to be applying another facing. So if you're going to be applying another facing, the best way to do it, you need to sand the surface back first. Get a little bit of super glue, fix up any little surface cracks. If you want to know how to do that, I've got a pre the previous video. Most videos I have, you'll see me applying a little bit of super glue to the face of the bat, sanding it on top. If you're doing that, make sure you sand the glue while it's wet. That means the glue and the sandpaper kind of kind of become a, a strong putty and fill all those um, little surface cracks. Um, up. So if you want to do, sand it back, get a little bit of linseed oil, rub it in your hands first and then apply it to the playing surface. If you just put it straight on, you're most likely going to put too much on and then your facing won't apply. So make sure if you're going to put facing, a facing on, put the oil in your hands first and then apply it. So really important to have a toe guard if you're playing in wet areas um, to make sure the, the toe doesn't absorb the moisture. So. As you have the end grain on the toe, the end grain's always going to absorb a lot of moisture um, if it's there um, and it just swells up and you get a huge amount of toe damage. So it's basically keep the toe dry, facings as well, you don't want to get a lot of moisture on the face. Um, so facings a great option and also just keep an eye on the shoulders and handle. So if you see the binding, unwinding, um, sometimes that's just by accident, maybe it's not put in correctly. Otherwise, sometimes you can end up, um, if it does come unraveled and you haven't realized, you can get a lot of damage to the shoulders and the handle. So make sure the binding's always done up correctly and tightly. Um, if you've got any shoulder cracks, get them fixed earlier rather than later. 
facing, toe guard, bat wax on all the exposed timber would be the best way of looking after your bat. If you've got a facing, make sure you get it replaced every season. If you're getting it replaced by another store, make sure you ask them their process um, and make sure you get a little bit of linseed oil applied under the facing before the new one goes on otherwise it's just going to dry out um, throughout your season. Yeah I've definitely um, thought about it and considered it um, and I'd love to get some in um, it's just basically trying to find the time so I definitely would like to experiment possibly I'll make a, a video um, probably quite a bit down the line but it's definitely um, something I'd like to do in the future. When we've got a bat in for refurbish, we first need to strip it back. So usually that's a um, 80 grit sandpaper. If we need to shape a toe, um, then that's usually kind of a 40 grit. Then we move on to kind of 150, 240, 400, and then 800 with the um, by hand. We have a lot of bats that come into the workshop with this, which have a huge amount of damage underneath those cords or threads. I don't personally agree with the the wrapping or the thread around that damaged area um it may work for some people um but yeah we just find that the repair isn't done that well to begin with and just wrapping it around kind of just covers the area and hides it the area can easily still crack underneath the string because obviously it's flexible so it's not really it's more just denting the wood rather than holding anything tightly, you're just going to hold cracks tightly together than getting a repair properly done. Um, again, it may work for some, but we just don't recommend it here at Fantail. Well, I've always loved woodwork right through school and after, um, doing furniture, furniture restorations, um, just making different bits and pieces here and there, um, and I think I've made my first bat probably out of a bit of a firewood when I was about um, 10 or 12. Um, it didn't look the best at all, um, but it was a start and um, it kind of just grew from there. Always loved cricket growing up, played a lot of it, watched a lot of it, and just basically joined my two passions together and um, started repairing and making bats. It would probably be around the time, again, with the first YouTube videos um, that we started to do. Um, at then, it was a part-time job that I was doing. Obviously, I was out of my garage at home. Um, so kind of around then, um, I saw there was a space for what I was doing, um, and we've kind of gone from strength to strength. Had massive growth over the last two years, which is going really well. Um, so yeah, basically, when you saw those first few YouTube channels on our page, that would be when I kind of realised it was a career um, that could be made out of it. So as I said, I did a lot of woodwork um, growing up through school, and um, a lot of the family done a lot of woodwork in the past as well. So the skills transfer quite easily across into the bat making. A lot of the skills are quite old fashioned with your heel shaves, draw knives, spoke shaves, etc. Uh, so I used quite a lot of those already in the past. So the skills just transferred quite easily into the into the bat making. Obviously it still takes a lot of practice um, and obviously you can't make a mistake with cricket bat otherwise you basically have to start again. Um, but yeah, quite quickly just kind of picked it up and went on to kind of repairing a lot of the the pro guys' um, bats and doing refurbishment hand and replacements um, and reshaping that sort of thing not long after that. We only do what the customer wants so we um, we see a lot of questions like that um, or you should have kept the original stick stickers etc. It's completely up to the customer, it's the customer's bat so they choose what we want to do. If you want to keep the stickers we keep the stickers, if you want our new stickers then we can change those over. Just because we're so busy now all full um, 12 months of the year we're very busy um, we just don't have the time it takes a lot of time to do the recording the editing um, and the uploading I would obviously like to upload a lot more videos and hopefully that will happen soon but at the moment just trying to get through all the orders um, that we have coming through the workshop at the moment um, and they're always going to be the priority over posting videos but yeah again I would like to post more so hopefully that will um, happen sometime soon. We now have bat 11. Remember there's over there's around 50 bats to choose from so make sure you jump onto our sale and um, have a look which one you want. So this one's bat number 11 as mentioned. Grade 1 short handle 2 pounds 9.5 ounces. Again kind of a mid to 
We've well, got mid to low, um, but you've still got a lot of weight through that profile. Again, moving through slight duckbill profile, so quite flat to the toe. You can see we have about two millimeters of concaving, so still nice and full. Again, semi-oval and round um, toe. Quick ping tests. There we go, sorry, two pounds, 9.5 ounces. And we have a 40 millimeter edge and a 65 millimeter spine. So great, great bat. Um, pick it up before someone else does. Bats improve with age. So if you've got a bat that um, may have a little bit of damage, um, but you feel like it's one of, maybe one of your favorites, definitely get it repaired. Send us a couple of pictures if you're unsure if it can be repaired. Um, most of them can, but yeah, send us some pictures. We'll let you know if it can be repaired and what the cost will be. Every bat repaired by Fanto is designed to last. So we wouldn't obviously last very long as a business if bats broke down after being repaired by Fanto after a game or a match. They are designed to last. Um, and you can see by our reviews on our website that they do. We use a few different glues here at Fanto. So with the Hanna replacements, they all get done with a high strength PVA. Most of the, all, sorry, all of the surface cracks we use a high strength um, super glue and all the major crack repairs, medium crack repairs and stuff like that we use an epoxy. So with the epoxies over a PVA, a PVA will, if you've got a strong contact and even contact together then it will perform extremely well and it will be stronger than um, just a piece of wood by itself. But if you've got any small gaps um, and obviously with a cricket bat when the layers start to open up you may have small bits that kind of come off. Um, that's why we use an epoxy because an epoxy can fill a gap a little bit um, and it's also rubber toughened so it can, it's a little bit malleable and flexible um, which is what you want with a performing cricket bat. And that about wraps this video up. Thank you so much for watching to this point. It's been extremely wordy um, and you've done great to reach this point in the video. Thank you so much for helping us get this award. It means a lot. As always, it's available in the workshop to come and visit. Um, check out our range of soft goods, bats, um, services and repairs. Pop in, maybe have a look around the workshop as well. Also, don't forget to check out our sale. I'm sure there's a bat for you. So jump, fantailcricket.com, sale, over 50 bats for you to choose from. If you've got any questions, please send us an email at info at Thanks for your support. Catch you next time.